Hi, good morning. We see here a little creek coming out of the forest from West Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. We are here on the property of Living Waters Village, a Christian children's ministry. And we want to show you how our water system connected to a papa pump works. So this is the creek. Here starts the story of our papa pump. The little creek coming out of the forest. As you can see here, very dense, very dense bush, jungle, like we call it. The little creek coming together here in front of a concrete wall. It's a dam. We built a concrete dam here to collect the creek so that it becomes a little dam, a little lake. So as you can see, this dam contains the water from the creek. We collect the water here and we have a few outlets. We have three outlets in use. You can see those pipes connected and they transport the water over a distance of 400 meter through the forest all the way to our water storage tank, our supply tank. I will show you later. Here's the supply tank. So we moved location. We are 400 meters further from than the dam. So those pipelines from the dam, they collect the water here in this 11,000 liter water tank. Connected to that tank is the outlet. It's a galvanized steel pipeline running 90 meters down all the way through the forest going down. You can hear the pump. You can hear its, its heartbeat. So the pump is 15 meters lower in height than the supply tank. And you can see it down there. It's connected to the iron pipe which has a length of 90 meters. So here's the end of the iron pipe and the papa pump connected to it. The outlet from this papa pump is a black hose, also two inch, and its length is 230 meters. So it's transporting the water 230 meters. And the height, the delivery head, is 30 meters all the way up to the water tower we will show you the water tower later on you can see the papa pump the water that it spits out and the water that it transports to our water tower okay we are here at the water tower uh, i opened the tap in between so just at the bottom of the water tower the water is going up higher and through the black house till the first floor we fill the tanks at first floor there's still a second floor all the way up there is the second floor with four tanks this is the first floor with four tanks 11,000 liter tanks and this is the bottom floor so we fill at the first floor that's a delivery head of 30 meters to show you how much water that we get, I opened the in-between tap here. You can see the water coming out. Let me show you. We have a 20 liter bucket here. We're gonna fill this bucket in about 53, 54 or 55 seconds. Let me show you. So the water from the creek collected in the supply tanks falling towards the papa pump over a distance of 90 meters and over a supply head of 15 meters pumps up this water with a delivery head of 30 meters through a hose 
with a length of 230, 240 meters. And you can see the result here. The bucket of 20 liters is almost full. 50 seconds. In about 53, 54 seconds, it starts over running. So this is very good. This is 22 liters per minute. And 22 liters, 22 liters per minute equals more than 32,000 liters per day. So that's about three of this, three of these big water tanks in a day. And that's what we were hoping for, that one papa pump without any electricity or other fuel can fill three water tanks in a day. Because we are here in Living Waters Christian Children Ministry where 600 Daya kids are living. We have lots of water usage every day and that's why we need to get lots of water in our water tower every day. So let me close this in between tap. And open the main tap again. The main tap connected to the black hose is open again. So those 22 liters per minute can go up again into the water tower. I think it's about 20 liters on the first floor that comes out of that house every minute. So we are very thankful to show you this water pump project. Uh, this is the first papa pump in use with good result and probably more papa pumps are going to be installed in nearby future because we have still more of little creeks here in the area that we can use the water for supplying our daily needs. Thanks for watching. This was Daniel all the way from Living Waters Village, Kalimantan, Borneo in Indonesia. Sunny greetings, blessings, bye-bye.